r slash ask reddit. Maya 214 says. People who have cheated before, why did you do it? Penfold underscore for underscore pm says. Insecurity. I was always on the lookout for someone who would make me feel more desirable than the last. Once I grew up emotionally, I realized what a pose I was, and the hurt it caused. Hard to live with tbh. Edit. Can I just make it clear I was not a serial adulterer it was a youthful lack of judgment. N00 Bearman69 says. This is incredibly self-aware. Kudos to you. Thrawabgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbgbg
Seba underscore king says. Unbridled ego, unsatisfying regular sex life, and a girl who threw herself at me. I was an idiot, I acted like an asshole, and I will regret it the rest of my life. The Nutliver 417 says. I mean at least you're honest about it. Seba underscore king says. It was a hard truth to face. It was a dark time in my life where my ego and my immaturity caused me to hurt several people I loved. Fortunately I learned from it, and while I can't take back the pain I caused, at least now I know what I'm 100% capable of being an asshole, and so can choose not to be one. r slash ask reddit Alice underscore AE says What was the happiest day of your life? Akashia Dragoon says. The day my oncologist called and told me you had a pathological complete response to chemo. Congrats, you're in remission. Literally dropped to my knees wailing in relief. Salty underscore issue 5062 says. I honestly can't remember, I can't even, frick, I remember yesterday. 5edu50 says. When I proposed to my boyfriend and the, frick, er actually agreed love him so much. Kindness Matters says. The day that the Coopers, not real last name, adopted me. Been with them for 11 years. Nico 87 k says. Is it sad, that I don't think I have a happiest day of my life? R. Doth B says. I had 12 of them. The last day of school. Every damn year. Charlie Necknap says. Hearing my mother tell me hello after her being in a coma for two months. I cried like a little girl. Clinically underscore, Inane says. First one that comes to mind is this. The summer after my junior year of high school, my girlfriend of a few months was the best person I had ever met, and I loved her more deeply than I thought. But she had graduated, and was leaving to another town for college. Due to family, social, and mental health issues, I had a major complex about rejection, and one about feeling, like I'm a burden to people. This led me to being selfish and clingy, but she had inspired me to try to be better, to be worthy of her. We were sitting in her car talking, after she dropped me off. I had a realization, that I cared about her more than my own happiness. So I told her that, when she goes off to college, we can call it quits, so she can do all the fun college stuff and date other guys. She said, I don't want anyone else. That was the first time I had truly felt chosen, accepted, cared about as a person. I didn't even know how deep my hurt was, but I grabbed her clothes, and held her, like I would never let her go. And I haven't. 24 years later, we celebrated our 20th anniversary a few months ago. That afternoon, she chose me over convenience, adventure, and the promise of something better. I'm hers. Complex Package 117 says. November 18th 2013 I brought home my Astro. He was the goodest boy this idiot could ever hope for. I miss him dearly. Said or underscore 2020 says. Getting off the streets January 5th 2019. Almost 5 years sober now from meth addictions. Tact 1 calorie, 0 says. The day I won the lottery for 348 million. Remarkable Sun 525 says. The day before I was conceived. Pitbullfin says. This is going to sound dumb, but the happiest day was when I graduated from US. Army basic training. All my life I had been told by my family that I was a worthless failure who would never amount to anything, and yet these outsiders saw my worth, valued it, and promoted it. I had found a new family. A brotherhood. These outsiders knew me better than anyone, and yet they still loved me. Sesaj Bailey says. Hearing the girl I liked accepting to be my girlfriend. It didn't work out, but I still remember I was the happiest dude alive, on top of the, frick, I'm world. 
Before that I was so self-conscious, but knowing that someone liked me enough to want to spend time with me in a relationship made me the happiest man, and in general just confident with myself. Thanks to that though the relationship didn't end well I don't worry about self-esteem issues anymore. Swing underscore Lucky says. I graduated with my high school diploma, there was threats of expulsion, not finishing, and suspensions, with both my grandmothers there, and I loved every memory slash photo from it, I graduated with my bachelors with my family cheering me on, I could hear them, before everybody else in the massive auditorium. I loped, the marriage didn't last, though so. But it was a special unforgettable day in vacation in Las Vegas. Graduated with my masters, one of the absolute happiest days of my life it was so tough. And then, getting my license to practice within my field. Evil Dr. Sinwave says. The day I got married. Best and happiest day of my life. It sucks knowing it's gone, along with the women I married. Due Discussion 6916 says. Trick question I never had. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.